I think the world has come to a junction that we need to change. And the only way that we're going to be able to change in the right way is through entrepreneurial endeavour. So I've set up a little thing I call the Entrepreneurs, an entrepreneurial-led renaissance that's going to start bringing some things back from the past in order to be able to help the future. Most entrepreneurs, when they start there, who's, who's dreaming of the high life? Who wants, a, who wants a better life to buy the things they want to buy, to have the, live the life they want to buy? Most of you guys, that's, that's great. But unfortunately, what happens not too soon after starting business, instead of getting the high life, you tend to get the high seas. <laughs> now, that's a period where you're fully out of control. You think you started business. The good news about the high seas is that if there wasn't a challenging business, there would be no opportunity to exploit. Only 20% of businesses survive the first five years. This doesn't sound too bad until you think, okay, that means 80% of businesses go bust. Right? And that's a scary statistic. 80% of businesses go bust. And, and, and it's my postulation, the reason why businesses go bust is because a lot of people start business without any experience. They start business with not the appropriate amount of uh, help. And usually they start business underfunded as well. And I want to change that. I, I, I think that's heartbreaking that so many businesses actually go bust in the first five years. Because so many entrepreneurs make a decision, but they don't actually do anything about it. Enjoy it while it lasts if you're in the startup phase of your business. And it's a bit like being at base camp when you climb a mountain. There's so much, it's a frantic activity and everyone's so excited because they haven't got the hardship yet. Right? That's the next stage in, climbing, in, 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 in going through your business career is the hard yards. The hard yards is when the business has grown a little bit, it's, it's out of startup, but you haven't got enough money, you haven't got enough staff, you haven't got enough knowledge, and you're just constantly thrown with obstacles after obstacles after obstacles. You're through the high seas or the hard yards when you're paying yourself your market rate of income. Expansion is, is a, pretty, um, it's a pretty awesome stage during a business, but as many businesses go bust in the expansion as they do in the hard yards or the foundation, because you can run out of cash pretty quickly, similar to climbing a high altitude mountain. Then you go through the succession, which is about you know, probably the most treacherous journey any business will go. And the reason why you need to know these stages, even if you're not ready to go through the succession, you need to plan your business model that you will be able to succeed out of it. If the business is too reliant on you, you're stuffed. You'll never be able to exit your business successfully. And then finally, the exit. A business is worth a huge multiple more if the entrepreneur, if it's not reliant on the entrepreneur. When you're in the startup and the hard yard stage, you need to pay yourself an income. Right? What entrepreneurs get wrong, I think, is they don't pay themselves an income. Right? They, they focus on, I'm going to sell the business for $50 million. You have to pay yourself a wage. You're never going to be able to start and grow a business if you don't get paid. Okay, so you need to do that. I see a lot of people when they first start a business, they think it's all about marketing. Because they've seen, maybe they've worked for a corporation like Commonwealth Bank or someone, and they go, oh, you know, you have to do heaps of branding and, and that sort of stuff. Well, it's my belief that when you're in the income stage, people aren't buying your brand. They don't give a hoot what your company's called or what your logo looks like. Right? What they care about is you. When you're in the income stage, you're selling you. So whatever you can do to actually build up your profile, your credibility, you're going to be able to sell more things in your business. Once you get to the profit stage, they're still not interested in what you're called or what your logo looks like or how fancy your website is. What they're most interested in is your system or your team. And then finally, in the value stage, that's when we might start be pushing our brand. Okay? So that's one, one important lesson. And let's think about our, our role as entrepreneurs. In the income stage, we've got to be a doer, a manager, and a leader. That's what makes entrepreneurship so hard. You've got to oscillate between these three levels. In the profit stage, you're going to have to start manage, manage and lead your business, but do less doing. And then finally, in the value stage, that's when we're only a leader. Make sure you're not managing or doing. Let other people do that. So when I went on holidays for two weeks, I went on holidays for two weeks. I didn't even ring back to the company, check my emails, do anything. That's the best empowerment tool. If you want to grow a business that's solid, it needs to be able to grow without you. And I, I religiously took a holiday every year to do some kind of adventure. And I came back refreshed, but more than that, when I got back, the company was always in better shape than when I'd left, which probably should have told me something. <laughs>